All right, we're going to look at uh, another fun uh, technique for uh, evaluating integrals, and uh, it, it's uh, completing the square. And when we do the complete the square, it's going to help us um, um, change these integrals into something that ends up being an uh, arc sine or arc tan or arc secant. That's that's what we're going for. Um, so this is uh, like a Matho 306, uh, Math 1314 uh, precal uh, algebra two type type of topic. So if I want to complete the square of x squared plus bx plus c, I'm going to take the middle term, the linear term b and I'm going to divide it by 2 and square it. So I'm going to add, and since this isn't an equation, uh, I don't want to change it, so I'm going to add and subtract it. And when I do that, I don't change the expression. And then once I've done that, I'm going to factor it. Okay, so this becomes x squared plus bx plus b over 2 squared minus b over 2 squared, and then we just had the seat hanging out there. Okay. All of this, that's a perfect squared trinomial. That factors into x plus b over 2, quantity squared, and then plus that the rest of that junk. And that is completing the square. Okay, And we're going to do that in the context of a couple of problems here. I think I'm going to do three with you, um, just, just to practice some, a little bit of the variation that, that may occur. And... Uh, and uh, get try to get to match one of those uh, formulas. Okay, so first one we'll do a definite integral from zero to two of dx divided by x squared plus four x uh, plus five. Okay, so usual things I would look for is okay. Well, if u equals the denominator, then the d the du would be two x plus four, and uh, I don't even have anything close to two x plus four uh, dx. So I'm thinking, well, that probably is not. Uh, something that we want to do. And uh, since we've been dealing with uh, integrals that end up being uh, inverse trig, let's see if it looks something like that. Um, the arc sine and the arc secant both have a square root. This one doesn't, so therefore by process of elimination, maybe it's an arc tan. So the derivative of du over u squared plus a squared is 1 over a arc tan, u over a plus constant integration. Okay. So we're going to complete the square of this. Um, so we're going to take 4 over 2 and we're going to square that. So that's really just 4. So what we're going to do is we're going to add 4 and subtract 4 in that denominator. We have x squared plus 4x. And then we're going to add 4 and then subtract 4. So we haven't changed anything. We've just made it so that I complete the, I can do a completed square. Okay, so you see that the 4's cancel out. doesn't change anything. Over here, that's our completed square. So x squared plus 4x plus 4. When I factor that, that becomes x plus 2 quantity squared. And then we, uh, when we combine the minus 4 and 5, we get 1. And then dx, okay? So this looks just like my uh, arctan formula now. The u will be x plus 2, and the du will just be dx, and the a is just 1. All right, so we're good to go. Right, plug it right into the formula, arctan of uh, x plus 2, evaluated from 0 to 2, plug it in, and then you'll need your calculator to evaluate this. Okay, crunch in those numbers, punch them into your calculator. Don't punch your calculator too hard, though. Um, we get 0.2187 as our uh, value for this definite integral. Okay, um, so I, again, I said I was going to try to get a little bit of the different variety of problems, so let's try another one. So let's say we'll have 5 divided by negative x squared plus uh, 6x under the square root dx. Okay. All right, so the, the one with the arc tan didn't have a square root. Um, then we had the arc secant and the arc sine. They both had a square root. The arc secant also has somebody outside the square root. It has like an x or something like that. So it's not arc secant. This one's probably going to be arc sine, and uh, needs to look like this. So it needs to be integral of du over square root of a squared minus u squared. That becomes arc sine u over a plus constant of integration. 
Notice that the u, that's the part with the variable that comes second. So what's going to happen here is we're going to we're going to take this, we're going to factor a negative out so that it becomes x squared plus 6x. Okay. Now in order to complete this square, I'm going to take the 6. I'm going to divide it by 2, which makes 3, and then I'm going to square it. So I'm going to add 9, and then I'm going to subtract 9. Okay. All of this, all of that is, um, oops, I'm off uh, by a minus sign, let's try again. This should be a minus 6x, excuse me. Still same thing, we're going to add 9 and subtract 9, okay? Um, all of this is the completed square, so that'll be negative x minus 3 quantity squared, and then we're going to go ahead and do the negative negative 9, which becomes positive 9, that's the 3 squared, okay? So that's where all this stuff is going to uh, come from when I uh, write it in the next step here. So just a bunch of algebra. Okay, so 5, and then it's going to be 3 squared minus x minus 3 quantity squared, and then... Uh, uh, we need to put that square root on top of it too. Okay. And uh, where our u will be x minus 3, du is dx, a is 3, and uh, this fits the formula perfectly. That 5 is just a constant, so we can pull it out. So it's 5 arc sine of x minus 3 over 3 plus your constant integration. Okay. So the tricky part probably for this one is to um, recognize what you're looking at. It's going to be an arc, something that ends up being an arc sign and then having to figure out how to get it to fit that form. Okay, we're going to do one more. And we're going to look at 1 over x minus 2 times uh, square root of x squared minus 4x and then uh, dx. Okay, and right now we're looking at, does it look like an arctan, an arc secant, or an arc sine? This one has a square root in it, so it's probably either arc sine or arc secant. Um, it also has this x minus 2 out in front there, so I'm thinking it might look like an arc secant. So let me write that formula down. So arc secant will be integral du over u, square root of u squared minus a squared. Give me 1 over a arc secant, absolute value of u over a plus constant integration okay so that's what I need it to look like um, so what I probably want is I probably want the u to be x minus 2 and um, I need a u squared minus a squared under in, under the square root there so I'm gonna complete the square and when I complete the square there you have the x squared minus 4x we're going to take 4 divided by 2 and square it, which gives me 4. Then we're going to subtract 4. So in that square root, it's going to change into x minus 2 squared minus 2 squared. And that's exactly this form that I want. All right, we got it to fit the arc secant. Now we just have to identify our what our u is. Du is dx, and a is 2. So all we got to do is plug it into our formula. 1 half, arc secant, absolute value of x minus 2, divided by 2, plus constant of integration. All right, and that's it. It'll take some practice, just like anything else in math, and you'll get the hang of it.